I've been known for telling white people to go back to where they come from. Because everybody comes from some place and at some point they may not have felt welcome. My family came with a suitcase of hopes and dreams that one day I could be someone. And it is my God-given right to excel, so step aside, otherwise you will get trumped on. I come from a people who have survived generations of oppression. Chanting Oromia will be free with our hands chained to symbolize our situation. And it feels like everywhere I go, I am the enemy to every nation. Everybody telling me to go back home, but my home was colonized by foreign invaders. Now I'm walking in the desert like the Jews once did with Moses, screaming, let my people go while the Pharaoh is unloading. 15 rounds in the clip, one in the chamber, the angel of death standing by unnoticed because black lives only really matter when the officer's gun is loaded. Go back to where you come from, but the slave ships have all left dock. Go back to where you come from, but the slave ships have all left dock. Forgetting Africans first became Americans through illegal immigration at Plymouth's Rock. And I wonder if every red state in the United States realizes the red blood that it was built upon. Because the Washington Redskins and Cleveland Indians were once the home team, but now they're gone. But don't upset the white people. We don't want them to get uncomfortable might revoke our immigration status and force us to go back to where we're from. But we're still waiting for them to find Saddam's weapons of mass destructions. Because isn't that why we went to war and killed a million civilians? Now they're worried about ISIS, but ISIS is your creation. Just like Osama wasn't your enemy. <laughs> Now they're worried about ISIS, but ISIS is your creation. Just like Osama wasn't your enemy when he was fighting the Russians. So don't believe your TV screens for them Zionists be selling lies. If all Muslims were terrorists, foo, what makes you think you'd still be alive? <laughs> they say my religion preaches violence and because of that they want to hurt me. Rip hijabs off our sisters because their democracy, it teaches mercy. Gave us freedom of religion until religion teaches us to be free from these man-made laws created by white men of authority. And they don't want me to turn Malcolm, prefer I preach the word in silence. But MLK stood for nonviolence in the same spot that they shot him. Boom, boom is the sound of your justice in action because your justice is just us suffering injustice, it just is. Systematic racism and institutionalized infractions. Statistically, I have a better chance of being just another black life that didn't matter. And the far right is outright, but it's all right when you're all white. Go back to where you come from is the slogan they are chanting. Go back to where you come from is the slogan they are chanting, but it is God who created this land and you will all return to it notwithstanding. But what would it take for you to just be pleased with me? What if I shaved off my beard and enjoyed your wine and cheese? Change my name from Mohammed to Mo or Bob or Steve? Would you be less threatened if I abandoned my faith entirely? What if I bleached my skin lighter by just a few degrees? Got tough on immigration and foreign policy. Condemn those Muslimicalist nations for their barbaric tendencies and excused white domestic terrorism as just a few bad seeds. But I don't want to go back to where I'm from because where I'm from is here. And my resilience is brilliant, a living example of all your fears. God blessed and finessed from every skin cell to cuticle. Muslim, black, intelligent, and hot damn I'm beautiful. So wake up, world, because the future is here, unapologetically being me from now until infinity. And my people are here to stay. That's a promise you can count on. And if you don't like it, then you can go back to where you come from. Thank you very much.